Hi everybody, Diana here again. Um, this time I want to talk to you about importing a design from the internet. I previously talked to you about making your own design in the Canvas workspace or whatever workspace that you are dealing with with your particular machine. This time um, I will tell you that there are thousands of SVG designs out there. And SVG are the, the type of cutting uh, designs that you would need to use for your uh, machine. And you can literally find thousands of them. And many, many, many of them are free. Sometimes you might have to pay for them. But um, for today, I chose a free design that I found on the internet and just downloaded it to my computer. It was very simple. I'm not going to go through that process because most everybody knows how to download a file from the internet to their computer. What will happen on the SVG file is that it will be downloaded as a zip file. And what you will have to do is unzip that file and within the zipped file you will see the SVG document and you'll want to uh, make sure that that is available to be pulled into your Canvas workspace. You can either drag it to your desktop or put it in a file. Um, just make sure that your Canvas workspace or whatever workspace you're working with can pull that file, that SVG file, into uh, the workspace. So what I did, what, it was, what I always tend to do is put everything on my desktop because it's just easier for me to manage. Um, so in this instance, because I'm working with Scan and Cut um, Canvas workspace, all I had to do was click on where it says SVG and it's going to import that from my computer and I've already opened up my scan and cut uh, workspace folder and you can see that I have the Beach Girl Hibiscus uh, SVG file uh, document that I had imported from the internet. Just double click on that and there it is. It shows right up onto your Canvas workspace and you can do with it whatever you want. You can cut it out just the way it is or you can modify it however it is you want to modify it. Well, in this instance, I really didn't want the Beach Girl uh, text. So I got rid of it. I highlighted it, backspaced, and removed the Beach Girl text. Unfortunately, it did not come as one big text document. It came as little bits and pieces, so I had to uh, remove the letters and parts of words one by one, uh, which is what I'm doing now, so that I can get rid of this. Um, so if, you, if this was your design, you could just leave the hibiscus the way it is, or you could do what I did, which is I added my name. So I came over here to the text tool, and I chose my font, which is Bonbon, bon, uh, for this particular one, and I typed in my name. moved it up so that it was centered to my hibiscus. And although you don't really need to do this, I uh, filled in my name with the color so that it was consistent. Um, I think that's a little bit too big, so I'm going to make the name a little bit smaller. And again, center it on my hibiscus. The next thing that I wanted to do with this um, is it's really tight in that corner. Um, and I need to make sure that I have an adequate amount of vinyl 
around this design so that I don't get etching cream onto the parts of the glass that I don't want it on. So in order for me to do that, I'm going to add a box around this so that my design is going to be protected. But it's still really tight in that corner. So what I did uh, in order to solve this problem is I highlighted it, then I, whoops, I highlighted it, right clicked on my mouse, and I selected group. And what that does is it makes this so that I can move all of it all at the same time. And that way I can move the design away from that corner up in the tight edge there and it gives me a little bit of breathing room here to deal with this design a little bit. But the box is still way up in the corner here. Um, I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup these items. Just right click, click ungroup, and now you can move your box so that you have an equal amount of space around your design. Once again, I'm going to highlight and click group so that now I have my design in the box and I know that I'm going to have enough vinyl around the design so that the etching cream does not seep out or does not touch the parts of the glass that I don't want it to touch. The other beauty of grouping all this design together is if you want to make multiples of your design, all you need to do is click, uh, is right click on the design, click duplicate, and it will make multiples of your design. So you can make as many as you want, and you can make as many uh, projects as you want. You can do an assembly line, which is always faster um, if you want. The other thing about this, I'm go going to delete these, um, is this particular design is a little bit too big for the glass that I'm using. So I want to make it smaller. And what I did is I made it smaller. And if you look over to your right, you will see 2.85 inches is about right. You can make it a little bit smaller if you like, a little bit bigger depending on the size of your glass but I did not want there to be any bubbles or any wrinkles in my vinyl so that um, I would get a nice etched finish to my design once I had it all, all uh, placed on the, on the uh, glass. In this instance, I use a wine glass and uh, it worked out fine having these dimensions. Um, but your glass might be bigger or smaller than the one that I used. So, you know, definitely take, take a few measurements um, and decide what would be the best size for you. And once again, once you are finished with your design, you're going to export it to your machine. Um, with this in, in this instance, I exported it uh, using the internet. It was very simple to do. I went up to file, export via the internet, and it says the registered machine is ready to download the transferred file from the internet. Clicked OK, went over to my, sheet, my machine, and my design was there and ready to cut out. That's all there is to it, to download a uh, design from the internet, and it was completely free. There are loads and loads and loads of free SVG files out on the internet. I encourage you definitely to look at them if you don't feel like you're an artist or you just don't feel like making your own design. Definitely give it a try.
Thanks, and I will see you again. Bye.